Greetings, survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here again, and today do I have a treat for you. It's only an exclusive first look round the new Train Yard Monument rework, and what I'm asking in return, only a quick press of the subscribe and like buttons. Anyway, I was a bit concerned there wouldn't be much news this week, but then, like Gandalf popping his head over the hill on the fifth day, I was suddenly able to give this little beauty a try for you, and the good news is you'll be able to test it soon too. Details in the description. So, if you've been paying attention, you'll know that the Train Yard is getting reworked slightly with a new section that includes an event, and it's finally being linked up to the rest of the rail network. Oh, the realism! Also on this branch there are new light switches on monuments and new locomotives. First you'll notice the layout of the train yard is almost identical to before as this side-by-side -side shows, but there are two very important changes here and here. Firstly because the main line running through will now be linked up to the rail network as you can see on the map. Other monuments will eventually be linked up in the same way, but one thing at a time, eh? There's also a new locomotive in town, but I'll get to that in a moment. A new Cobalt Logistics Coaling Tower is the main addition to the train yard. Remember there was a naming competition? Well done if this was yours. And this straddles the main line through. Everything I'm showing you is, of course, deeply subject to change, so don't jump to final conclusions, but here's a rough summary of how it works at the moment. It appears two types of lootable wagon will be spawning in the world, not sure where yet, one that contains loot and one that contains fuel. You won't be able to get at the contents though unless you bring them here. You'll need to use a work cart or one of these, a new locomotive model. But as far as I'm aware, the difference in the future will be that the work cart will be a lot slower at pulling laden wagons and will just be less powerful in general, I think. Also, the loco has twice the health right now. Not sure yet where these will spawn. Oh yes, and both work carts and locos have horns now left click. Anyway, simply pull up with your loot wagon or wagons from either direction until you're in position as indicated on the dash. Then you'll need a green keycard and a fuse to unload. At the console in the tower you can automatically switch between multiple wagons and then remove the contents. In the case of a loot wagon, the vacuum will suck out all the coal, which just disappears into the ether sadly, and this will reveal the lovely, lovely loot for you to loot. Shame we haven't worked out how to use coal yet. We are rather undersubscribed on it. And in the case of the fuel one, you'll find said fuel deposited in the tank inside the tower. Loot tables and quantities are, of course, all subject to change. Also on this branch, you'll find lighting. First on work carts and locomotives on the front and back to show if one is travelling towards you, away or is just stationary. Then there's monument lighting, which the team have been working on quite a bit over the last few weeks, so now you'll find that most monuments have a few switches around which you can use to illuminate and unilluminate them with or even just leave them on constantly. If you want a reminder of the days when you didn't need to worry about such things, although actually I just checked and they will turn themselves off after a while. How energy conscious. Oh, and there are also some new basic wagon models now. Nice, although these might not be merged in for a while, so I'm told. Everything else I've shown you here can be tested right now on the Orcs 02 branch, which can be opted into on the staging client. Of course, you'll need a corresponding server to join on that branch, but one or two should pop up soon. I'll put the destructions in the description. After that, these changes are planned to merge onto the normal staging branch on the 28th of July, and then all being well, it'll be accessed for everyone on the release branch when the next patch rolls around on August the 4th. Now, I want to know what you think of these changes, so please leave me your best comment down below and I'll try to read them all. Don't forget to thumbs up and sub, ring the notification bell, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group to stay in the loop with me and consider supporting the channel on Patreon with a YouTube membership or via the merch store. Links are all below. I shall catch you soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk.